Hello everybody. <laughs> Joder, qué cutre, tío. Un sí, <risa> and the cafe. Show it, show it. Hola. Joder, qué grande, ¿no? Uh, we have found the car and guess what is the the number? Look the number. Look the number. The number of the beast. Yeah. By the time my friends are gonna be there too. I'm on a highway to hell. Visit Bergamo. Por aquí, ¿no? Sí. Renta car in ¿cuál era? Gold car. This is the house where some people from the organization uh, stay here and they host me for for the weekend. So this is this is where I will stay. This is where Francesco sleeps and this is where I sleep because because I'm bigger. Well not. It's because he is very nice and he's very gentle and he he let me stay in the big in the big bed. Hopefully. Jose Palomares is the owner of Big Child and Patrick the small mason. Guess why is his nickname? It's because he's very small. I don't know. Patrick, why your nickname is the small? Uh, you don't know why? <laughs> <laughs> He's the, gre the greatest right. small guy in the world. Due, can, can you explain what you wanted to achieve with this? I mean, this is... Guys, this is Due Kai uh, piece. Well, I cannot focus it, but it's one of the most surprising pieces in the contest. Uh, many people were, were talking about this here. Um, so, explain us. Uh, I, I wanted to uh, maximize the amount of contrast that you can get. So, I wanted to use, well, we all know that you can use saturation and desaturation, and you can use light and darkness, you can use gloss and map. Uh, so I wanted to push the amount of attention I could push towards the uh, the central character as much as possible. So I made some of it really close, painted it close, still really close, uh, just to draw the attention towards the main character of the uh, of, of the thing. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I sort of made a detailed look. So the freehand, the detail and everything mm -hmm. just uh, leads away from everything. Or the guy is just water. A very interesting thing that Tue used to do, uh, which is to change the, 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 the typical composition and play with the background, uh, with inclined planes and, uh, and backgrounds, uh, is, is really interesting because it, it frames the, the miniature and you can, uh, you can perceive easier the, the, the idea of an illustration and also the depth of the background. Uh, to understand that he is inside of a certain environment uh, without uh, the, the necessity of creating uh, a full background with a terrain. You were saying about the contest. What, yeah, me, what do you think about the contest, yeah, yeah, guys? Me, uh, and Patrick, we're talking about the contest, the show, and Patrick uh, asked me, uh, it seems that there are a little bit few bigger than last year, but less pieces, more, no? but, yeah, a little bit less pieces, but more people and uh, my answer is that um, at the end the, the quantity of display is not so different from last year but probably uh, i think that people understand that here it's much more important quality than quantity mm -hmm. so a lot of displays are not uh, component by five or six uh, pieces to try to have quantity but the people start to invest in one or two pieces maybe connected between them and uh, invest in a super proper quality but there is a a uh, bigger amount of re registration this year? No, the, the, no, the, the registration is a little bit less, I think, but not so much. Okay, can right? we know the numbers? Uh, not now, because I don't know. We, uh, we, we will we put it on... Uh, on more, our... more than 10 and less than 1 million. <laughs> That's no, for think, sure. Okay, I think I can say that we, we will be around 1,000. 500 figures, probably. 1,500 figures. Probably, something like Around. that. But but can be 1,300. I don't know. <laughs> and how many have you sculpted, Patrick? This 1,500. I have sculpted two. 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 And, two. Very so, and very little. And very little. You see, so you see, to, 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 to succeed this in this one. war. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you.
A beautiful display by the Mumi. Star Wars. Pretty impressive. Nice. Michal Pisarski. I found something unexpected and very cool. Here is a box. I don't know who is the owner, but it has to be a student or something because this is a drawing I did some time at some point. It's full of signatures. I didn't remember this, nice. Hi guys, we are now in the judging, the final decision. The choosing pieces for the best of show. And this will be like final selection. They make like uh, rounds between pieces to, to choose which is a winner. Uh, it's like uh, qualifications, like a World Cup or something like this. This is like, this is the system. Those, all those guys are the juries. Best of show is already given. Let's, let's keep the silence until tomorrow. Secret. Another best of show by Maurizio Bruno and Danilo Cartazzi. Overall winner of Monte San Savino 2017. Great diorama, like always. It's been a tough decision. Some juries are happy, some juries are not. It happens always the same. Uh, but all the pieces were really great. It's amazing to to see this, um, to have the chance to see this uh, without the people, with uh, with the opportunity to see them closer and take them in my hands. Obviously, uh, I've been here many times judging. Uh, but now that I am free to, <laughs> to, to do whatever I want without judging and without having that responsibility, it's a different feeling. Um, and well, it, it's been a great addition, uh, many, many great figures. So hopefully most of you will come next year so we can continue growing this amazing community that is Monte San Sabino Show. Nice, great memories from the labyrinth. This is the movie display. Best of show of this year. Nice composition, it works from many angles. It has many nice pictures that you can take. The overall sculpting is great, it works really well, it's like a classical picture. It reminds me like a romantic uh, picture from the 19th century. There are many samples of this in the Prado Museum in Madrid. As, I've see, as, as I have said, uh, many nice frames. And this is one of the main uh, reasons why something like this can uh, win a best of show that also the, the rest of the display is so standing, really well present, beautifully, classic style, but I really love it. The terrains are great, bases are super, super well chosen. Very good paint job, top work, definitely. Sculpting category, one of the most impressive I've seen in the last years, especially displays by Lucas Pina and Patrick Masson, who is not here right now because he was picked for the best of show, the best of show election. 
I don't know in which round. I think the standard category is always a uh, good balance to know um, what is the real level of the community because the basis of the painting uh, community are always the most important thing. So, so it's interesting to see how people became more courageous over the years and they're trying new approachings, uh, new techniques, um, new styles. They are trying to replicate their, their followers, obviously, of many professional painters, and they are trying to replicate their style, which is great. Uh, so this means that the, the different styles and the different visions and the different um, philosophies of each main painter in the world, it's being developed, and people are following those trends, but also adding their own input I see many great ideas, normally in standard category, uh, many newies, many people that don't have a lot of experience, they are able to create amazing ideas because they are fearless completely, so that's, that's also very interesting. Voto finale, voto finale, i due, date le chiave se volete, i due, un voto solo, chiave. Guys, uh, Dimitri Feschenko, Roberto Di Meo, um, what do you think about the judging, how it was? It's a, it's a great, I think it's a great experience also to see it from, uh, from an internal side. Andrea Giula, one of the best sculptors in the world of all times. Don't move, don't move, I mean, we're all together. So what do you think about the, the judging, I mean, how you feel it? Was? Do you think, guys, that there is a balance between uh, military or uh, historical and, and fantasy, that the levels are... Yes, yes. the levels go, grow up uh, each year. Uh -huh. Roberto, what did you, what did, what did surprise you the most? So, so I mean, uh, uh, what, do you, what would you say to the, to the new, new people, you know, that try to, that they want to be in the master category, what, what, did, what did jury and are expecting for next year, you know, what, what do you expect, what they have to do? Monte San Savino by night. It's a very special place. Has some magic and some energy. It's difficult to explain. You have to you have to visit it. You will like it. Especially when the doors of the castle open and Francesco appears. That's the best moment of my life. The power bank for Alfonso.